line balancing using largest candidate rule the first job to do is to arrange all steps in a descending order based on the TEK value which is the processing time for each single step which I've already done it in order to save time I'm gonna do here example 17.1 page 531 in the automation book where the service time is already calculated as equal to one minute so the first step is to arrange as a steps in a descending order based on their TEK value starting from 0 0.7 all the way down to 0 0.1 as it's obvious here the second step okay we're gonna assign jobs which is a work element to the first work station by starting at the top which is here okay and we select this element to be assigned to the first work station for example if in two conditions it satisfies a precedence requirement and does not cause a summation of TEK to exceed the allowable value of the service time okay I will give you an example the first element to be selected is 3 okay the summation of TEK is 0 0.7 is it less than 1 yes so we're okay to select this but since step 3 is uh, is preceded preceded by since the step 3 is preceded by step 1 so we cannot select it therefore we have to do step 1 first okay so let's start we have station work element TEK in minute and station time in minutes as well okay so first can we select work element 3 this is fine it's less than 1 is preceded by 1 no 8 preceded by 3 4 so we go all the way down till step 2 is preceded by none and the value is 0 0.4 so we start here this is station 1 work element 2 0 0.4 and then we have to remove this one and then we carry on can we do 10 no can we do 7 no can we do 5 this is fine because preceded by 2 and it is 0 0.3 so again here is station 5 0 0.3 so that maximum is 0 0.7 okay and then we delete this then we go down can we do one yes 0 0.2 0 0.9 is less than one and is preceded by none and then we go all the way down till we get to one and two here so for 0 0.1 the summation is equal to one okay so the station time here is equal to one so we can't consider anymore because we've already achieved TS and we're already at the end of the list so this is station 1 so we go to station 2 we start all the way uh, at the top so we have 3 0 0.7 and we scratch this and then we go all the way down 3 4 no we've not done 4 9 10 no 5 8 no that one is fine but this one is 0 0.32 plus 0 0.7 is more than one so this is it's not doable uh, we do station for example 9 plus 6 7 8 so again it's not let's try this 12 no 6 yes so we have 6 0 0.11 okay and we are at the end of the list so we have to close the station the summation here is 0 0.81 and this is done again we have here 3 so it's 8 0 0.6 okay we go all the way down we have station 10 the same concept 0 0.98 0 0.98 so we scratch station 10 and then we have to repeat so this is 4 and can we do 9 10 no 
can we do three yes so this is seven zero point thirty two can we do nine six seven and eight yes so here is nine zero point twenty seven can we do eleven no so zero point thirty two zero point twenty seven is zero point fifty nine last one is five so we have eleven 0 0.5 and 12 0 0.12 0 0.62 okay so 0 0.62 value all right so the next step is to pull them into boxes so we have the work the workflow this is box one two three four five one two three four Five. So we have here two, five, four, one, three, six, eight, ten, seven, nine, eleven, twelve. Okay, so this is the timing we've got in all in all of them. Okay. As a purpose is to minimize the balancing efficiency, which is TWC over WTS from the book. The TWC is a summation of all TEK already calculated as 4 and the number of workstations obtained is 5 times 1 so we have 0 0.8 or 80% balancing delay so if you use the Kellebridge method or rank position rate this value might change but this is the first uh, condition or the first rule which is largest candidate rule